So you really think that there are lessons to be applied to business and investing from poker and from chess. I want to dive right in. When it comes to investing, the, the conventional wisdom is you have to have money to make money. Is that true in poker? That's absolutely true. And I think that's one of the things that it teaches us about women and how important it is to invest in women. Um, in poker, the amount of money you have determines what events you can play, whether if you fail, you can try again. I mean, this sounds so much like life where if you are blessed with those, you know, opportunities with those investments or with that wealth, you can take more chances. So I think poker shows us that in order to have the best society we can, we need to make sure that everybody's getting those chances and not just that chance, but those second and third chances. Because I'm going to tell you, I didn't win the first chess tournament I won and not the second or the third or the fourth either. You really have to get a lot of iterations, a lot of reps in to find that success. The interesting conundrum of, of chess and of poker as well, is that you can't just be thinking about the next move, that you have to imagine what your opponent is thinking and all the ways that the, the chessboard could change or all the ways that other players could um, change the way that the game is unfolding in front of you. Talk a little bit uh, about that strategy of thinking three or four or five steps ahead and then balancing that with adaptability and flexibility if the way you've strategized it is not the way it comes through? Beautiful point. I love that question because a lot of journalists have asked me, how many moves do you think ahead? But it's not that simple in chess. A lot of times it's about how many moves do you think side to side? How many options are you looking at? If I just look 10 moves ahead um, and my opponent plays a different move, a move two, well, those moves two to eight don't matter anymore. They were just a waste. So I think it's about flexibility and being present, even more than looking far ahead. And I think chess and poker can both teach us that. If you think about a chess player with their head buried in their hands as they think really hard, it's about being present. And that means about making the right move for right now and being flexible and not necessarily trying to think as far ahead as much as look for potentially a move they didn't see right in front of you.